Welcome to the Crowd Control Podcast. Wow. <laughs> Finally, after all these months and months and months of planning and pre-production and all these technical difficulties, we're finally recording yeah. our mm-hmm. very first yeah. pre-pilot episode, episode zero. Not really like a full Maybe episode. Maybe even negative one. <laughs> yeah, negative one. Just like a, it's like a test drive of a, of a new car. And... um. Man, it's, this has been a long time coming, right? <sighs> We've Too been planning long. for months and months when we were going to university. We mm-hmm. were like, let's let's think about it, let's talk about it, and then we've been pushing for ages on end. And um, back when did we actually start thinking of making this podcast? Oh wow, that's like months, months and months. Was ago. I think it was like long time ago. This year was it around February? March, March, March or February? I think right? It was yeah. when our university started. Uh huh. And then where were we? Where where exactly were we? We were at like a restaurant, wasn't it? Like uh, yeah, we were at like a pizza place. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah buffet. Yeah, and we we're having a pizza. We we're right. having pizza, and then I think you brought up the idea of you yeah. want to make some sort of something of a like a YouTube channel, like a YouTube channel, mm-hmm. like a video. I want to be a content creator, mm-hmm. and then I know that you guys both really love um, YouTube and you love podcasts. So I was like, want to do it, and then you were kind of like, just try not to move too much. This we're still. Inexpensive the equipment. Oh, so while okay. you're talking, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. Uh, so y- I know you guys like podcasts mm-hmm. and YouTube. So I thought, why why don't we just go for it? Okay. Yeah. And then um, because I've been sort of a fairly relatively avid listener of podcasts, and I listen to a lot of uh, gaming podcasts. And then I w- I figured, you know, we all we all play games, and since we all play games, why don't we make a gaming podcast? Yeah. I'm and I was like. Is this gonna be another pipe dream? Like, it's gonna be another YouTube channel we're not gonna make, <laughs> but we followed through. Yeah, <laughs> and here we are. Here yeah, we are. Like, we had to think of a name, which is actually more difficult than you think it is. Because I thought when you when you think of a name, you can probably just go with anything. Mm-hmm. To be honest, but what uh, you came up with? Yellow belly. Yellow belly. I came up with like uh, pixel bites, mm-hmm. and you came up with like what was it? Um, like oh, well, there was a lot. Yeah, there was a lot. Yeah. But we finally cut down, and then we came up with mm. yeah, crowd control, the crowd control podcast, crowd control, <laughs> crowd control podcast, crowd control podcast. After uh, months and months of debating, well, not months and months, maybe more like weeks. Yeah. But yeah, and we had the podcast, and we had to make the logo. Oh, the logo was another hurdle. Mm-hmm. But thank God we have uh, the great artist who helped yeah. us. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll um credit him in the in the description below. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want you can go check him out yeah <laughs> guys. and then um so once we actually made the logo and once we actually made the the decide the name then we had to think about like what do we actually talk about as well and we had to talk about like i mean the music was hard to find the music that you just listened to took a really long time for us to find yeah but we had to like shuffle and shuffle <laughs> and search, but you you actually found it and you were yeah. really hyped about it. Yeah, I found it in the middle of the night. <laughs> so, At like two in the morning. Yeah. I was listening to like a bunch of YouTube channels and there's this YouTube guy. He's like a Dragon Ball YouTuber uh, and he had like sort of his opening music. And it sounded really nice. I like was like jazzy. Yeah, it's like jazzy, vibe. Like jazzy. So I was like, oh, this is pretty nice. So I look at his description and he created it like a YouTube channel. So I click on it and it has like a bunch of like music that you can use without like um, there's like copyright free, I, I guess, for content right. content if creators. You just credit him. Yeah, so right. all, all you have to do is credit credit that channel. And once again, guys, the channel. Oh, uh, you can you can check <laughs> it out in the, the yeah. comment below. And um, <laughs> 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 so I want to go for like a jazzy type music, and that's what I found. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. And I, I started sharing with you guys, and you, since both of you liked it. Well, we liked it like in two days later. <laughs> well, we that, didn't reply for two days. <laughs> that's another long story. <laughs> Which frustrated him. One day you you will get that story. <laughs> but anyway, so now that all the pre-production stuff was done. Mm. And now we're here. We got the equipment. We found a place to record. And now that we're actually r- recording, let's maybe we should maybe this is when we should introduce ourselves to the viewer out, out there the how many viewers i'm i'm not sure yet i mean the one viewer that we have <laughs> could be one could, could be, be one. two so let's start with uh you know let's talk about who you are as gamers maybe not as persons because that's not really relevant yet but so we'll start how about you um kevin we'll start all right so 
who am I? Mm-hmm. Like uh, my history as a gamer, basically. Yeah. You know, like name, game, yeah, gaming sure. taste, whatever. All right. So my name is Kevin. I basically started off my, or well, kickstarted my gaming career as, uh, basically the arcade machines and. Make sure to put your mouth into like the mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In South Korea. And the first memory I have is like bubble fighters, like some sort of dinosaur game where you like, uh, like just bubble up these monsters and just destroy oh, them. I know that one. I know that one. Like, I don't know. Like I don't know why that is my first memory. Then after that was like Metal Slug, mm. one or two or something like that. Then followed by I think this is what really started my like, gaming career. Like uh, not gaming career, my gaming, my love for gaming mm-hmm. in, in itself was uh, StarCraft. Mm-hmm. I saw my cousin playing. And I was like, whoa. He's countering more than one unit. There's so much going on. This is mind blowing. And after that, basically, StarCraft. Then follow with other games like Age of Empires 2, 1. Those are also like similar, like uh, R- RTS games, basically. And then it just, my horizon itself just broadened because I also play like The Sims 1, 2. Then follow with other games like Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Mm-hmm. And then do again. So you you like kind of like simulation games. Yeah, and management games as well. Okay. Like, and after that, I do remember playing Dota, the real, real earlier. Ah, ver- those like are the good old days. The real Dota. early version of Dota, basically, yeah. where you had infinite stuns with like a hero called Dwarven Sniper. If oh, you just stack I a certain that. item <laughs> called oh Cranium Basher. Dwarven guys. was my first my first um hero in Dota. Yeah, yeah. I I hated those cheap games because if you stack like attack speed, uh-huh. my goodness. And with stun, yes. So like boom, boom, and then you get stunned. <laughs> you can't even move. Exactly. <laughs> and I also, uh, yeah, and Dota follow with. I think after that was World of Warcraft. Uh, near the end of vanilla, I just played for like one week or something. Vanilla. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know about the whole portal event. I I was just like, oh, it looks fun. I'll just I'll just join. <laughs> Next thing I know, like uh, vanilla ended. It. Then Burning Crusade. Yeah, can't, Burning can't Crusade was out. a real deal. But I knew nothing about Burning Crusade either. So basically after that was World of Warcraft, all the other expansions. And I did play other games as well. I mean, there's so many games out there. If you just t- check out my Steam library, which I might provide, maybe, Steam maybe one day. Yeah. Sort of flex, but okay. <laughs> and for now, I'm just playing uh, Dota on, on the Lords, uh, Morhau. It's a medieval combat simulator game. And once again, I am back to World of Warcraft. Classic. 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 I mean, June as well has a sort of <coughs> big background on World of Warcraft. Um, so I was also a little bit like Kevin, mm-hmm. where I started off with StarCraft. That is like a typical game for Koreans. I mean, just for formality, just say your name. <laughs> oh, but yes, formality. My name is June. First time here. Yeah. Um, so like I said, I started with StarCraft. And then I moved on to a little bit more of management games like Civilization Four, and that was really big mm-hmm. in 2002. And then after that, I carried on to play something called RuneScape. I know everyone kind of knows RuneScape is because it was also a very big MMORPG. And I even be- bought a membership because I was wow a membership. Yes, exactly. And <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money back then, but I, you know, I, you I even, had to. How do you even get the money? <laughs> yeah. How do you get your dad to buy for you? <laughs> Mom's credit card. <laughs> Your mom agreed. With permission? Shh. No, no. <laughs> let's, let's move on. <laughs> and then um, after that, um, I I started playing a lot more of Civilization and then all those uh, other series. And then more, got more into management and simulation series. Were you really into RuneScape? Like, yes, I was really into RuneScape because I just really loved um, MMORPG. Like being with other people being in groups and like flexing my levels and like telling other mm-hmm. people how much cu- how much trees i cut so was runescape your first like dip into mmorpg it was it was and it was a very long dip <laughs> it was a very long dip i tell you because because i remember I, a friend of mine wanted me to play runescape with him and i was like okay i'll try it out because it was like free it's, it's like a browser game you don't have to install anything right I mean, yeah. And yeah yeah so i just played it and for some reason i didn't really get that into it oh. i was just like because the graphics are kind of wonky and yeah, but it after after you play for a while, that's what that's that's what yeah, gets like, you. That's what really gets yeah. you. And then after that, I started really liking MMORPG, mm. but I was looking for something bigger, something more deeper that I could fall into. So what was that big something? <laughs> ah, you know what it is. What is it? World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> so I got into World of Warcraft, and I actually got into it around Burning Crusade. Burning Crusade. Burning Crusade, and it was the best time of my life. 
but it was the worst time for my grades in high school. <laughs> and then I got into Lich King and all that other um, great genres. And then after that, right now, I again with you, Kevin, I got into um, World of Warcraft Classic, mm-hmm. and now I am a level twenty-two <laughs> druid. Twenty-nine guys, twenty-nine, <laughs> 29. mage. Play mage, guys. What about you? What about you, Dennis? Okay, for me, um, well, my first game, sort of formality. Your name, please. <laughs> well, the name's my name's Dennis. Dennis <laughs> Lee. Whoa, I'm okay. um, so my first sort of foray into gaming was a sort of like arcade machines. So when my mom or my parents would go to the mall, and if I tag along, sometimes. While they're going, doing their stuff, I don't know what they're doing, maybe shopping, whatever. They tell me to stay in the arcade for for one hour or two hours and just play whatever you want. Or sometimes my mom would go with would would come with me to the arcade, and yeah, I'd play like sort of sort of non video game arcade stuff, like throwing balls into holes or like smashing heads coming out of like hill mole hills or whatever. Oh okay. Yeah, and then and then I started playing like. Time Crisis or oh, those Marvel vs. Capcom, really good, actually. yeah, or like those sports arcade games like like NBA or tennis or soccer or whatever. So I played those for a few years, and then my first ever console was like a Super Nintendo from a cousin. So it was like a hand me down, and I played like a lot of the classic Super Nintendo games like Chrono Trigger. It was in Japanese, so I had no idea what was going on. I remember I would just play like the opening. Two three hours, but I I lost interest because I couldn't speak Japanese and I didn't know like what to do. <laughs> and I also played like super, you know, Super Mario, um, all these like different platformer games that I don't remember what they were, but they're pretty fun. Mm-hmm. And then I still remember the day when my dad surprised me with a a, a PS One, PlayStation One, my first ever uh, console that my parents actually bought new. Cause I I I would just be jealous of my neighbor who had the PS One. Are you sure it's new? I'm f- I'm pretty sure it was new. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like brown. Yeah. Or Unle- unless he, unless unless I got bamboozled that time. <laughs> right, right. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. And then I played like Metal Gear Solid One, Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy. Um, I think it was my first Final Fantasy game was eight and nine. I didn't play seven that much because I didn't have seven, but I played eight and nine. And I played like so many PS One like Toy Story. And like all these like Disney like Aladdin and but those are really good games. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Aladdin has a very bad rep for being horrid. Oh yeah, it's, it was so th- I, I couldn't finish it, <laughs> but I played it. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when I started as a console gamer. So I wasn't really that into I wasn't really into PC gaming. I, I mean, you were into gamer. Game Boys and stuff. I mean, we were all into Game Boys. Mm-hmm. Like we mm-hmm. all got like yeah. Game Boy Colors, originals. I mean, I didn't have a Game Boy Color. I actually um, I actually played. Pokemon on my friend's Game Boy Color because oh. I didn't have a Game Boy of my own, but I really wanted to play Pokemon mm. because you know I love the Pokemon um, anime. Right. Yeah, with the, the classic. Um, I wanna be <laughs> yeah, the, the classic, very best. The classic opening song with yeah. Ash, and so uh, I remember when my friend showed me po- his uh, Pokemon on the Game Boy. It it blew my mind. Like a handheld console, where you can play like a full game with stories and. And like RPG mechanics and all this stuff, and you can catch Pokemon on it, and it's portable. Yeah, that blew my mind. Like I was like, this is this is this is the future. <laughs> this <laughs> you, huge book. Do you happen to know which version it was? Like yellow, red, blue. I think it was blue. Oh, blue. Yeah, blue. Mm. All right. So I play Pokemon Blue. Did you guys play Pokemon or uh, Game Boy? I played. I probably played Red Pokemon Red. Mm-hmm. But I I do remember playing Yellow the most because you have a Pikachu. Oh yeah, this is the picture you follows you around. around. You, you just go, wow, this companion yeah. is with yeah. me. It's it's, it's like the TV show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you just grind like the first first area mm-hmm. until your Pikachu is so overpowered. You just <laughs> steamroll over every <laughs> ste- gym leader because yeah. that's what I did basically. Uh, but the thing about Yellow was like the first gym leader Brock was hard really? because he was Rock type. Oh yeah, and definitely. your Pikachu was Electric type, so he's in a, is like not effective. So you, I remember one of the good tricks was you had to like go through this route and catch a Mankey because fighting type is effective against rock type. So that was, that was like a an easy way of beating the first gym leader because he was rock type. Oh, that's but what yeah. you did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you didn't get your Pikachu level 25. <laughs> no. And, okay, no. Right, right. 
I didn't, I didn't brute force, brute force my way through the first ship either. <laughs> thing is, I didn't even know. Could you run? I think like if you hold down the B button, you could actually run. Or was that like the later I think, iteration? I think that was for like Pokemon Gold. Oh, sort of oh right, right. Because yeah. I remember <laughs> Super Mario as well. You could actually run with your character. Mm-hmm. Like if you have to hold down a B button. I didn't even know you could do that. Like even my game. Oh, at like, Super Mario, yeah, yeah, you could do that. I didn't even know. So all I did like walk, walk, jump, walk, walk, jump. All That's those time wasted. <laughs> yeah. I did not know, basically. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I did play the Game Boy, but Pokemon was my first ever Game Boy experience. I love Pokemon. Then I, then I got I got the Game Boy SP. I think it's my brother's birthday. So the good thing about having a brother is if he gets a console for his birthday, it's basically ours now. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so Game Boy SP, I played Pokemon Emerald was the game I played on my Game Boy SP. On my... Mm-hmm. On his <laughs> or our Game Boy SP <laughs> <laughs> that he got on his birthday, <laughs> and then um, from there PS One, you know the usual PS Two, PS Three, and then once I got in college and I went to the army, I saved the money, I bought a PS Four, I bought a Switch, and I got a a laptop, a gaming laptop to play uh PC games because I wasn't really that into PC games because um lot, most most of my life my computers they sucked. Like, I couldn't play PC. The only PC game I played was, like, this old 2D MMORPG called Ragnarok. But I mean, Kevin and I are more into uh, computer games. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then you kind of introduced me into the console yeah, world. Exactly. And then now I have a Switch. <laughs> and then we've been trying to get Kevin to buy a Switch. But Kevin's refusing. <laughs> but, you know, we've been um, the multi-platform gamers. Yeah. And Kevin has been... The multi-platform gods. Yeah, the gods. <laughs> the monarchs. Yeah, I the mean, monarchs. technically, Jun has two... two. Yeah, but still you have multi. Three. I have multi, three. kind of. <laughs> like maybe double. I, I mean, maybe I am. I mean, multi means more than one. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But he, you did say you're getting a PS5, right? Yes, oh, I will be getting a PS5. <laughs> I do have my smartphone, my Note 10. That's oh. technically a console. So a smartphone peasants. A handheld uh, gaming device. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I can play Fruit Ninja. Stop embarrassing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, and. But we're all Asians, and we have all come from similar backgrounds. We're all Korean. We're like Korean backgrounds or Korean heritage, but we grew up in like foreign countries. And you know how Asian parents can be when you're young. Ooh, the people, tiger parents, people say basically. it's a stereotype. People say it's a stereotype, and I have to say it's a correct stereotype because <laughs> um, I don't know. A lot of my um, Western friends they would play all night or like they would have like sleepovers mm-hmm. and then I wouldn't be able to do that and I wouldn't be able to do an all nighter because if I did the next day my mom would mm, yeah. uh, give me some good good loving <laughs> 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 right and um, that's why I would have to do this nocturnal thing where I would have to set my alarm at 2 in the morning all the Koreans did this in our <laughs> high school and then we woke up at 2 and we would play like StarCraft until like 4 because I knew my mom would get up at like 5 mm-hmm. and then we would sleep. <laughs> and then we would go to school at like 8 which is which is yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe that's why um I stopped growing early. Oh. Like, Wasn't there like one night when your mom like just woke up at like 3 or 4? Oh, there was. Almost got there was. But I could, I could hear her. I could hear yeah. her. Oh. So. I mean, you can hear them like, getting up and you know. Right. It takes time for them to like sort of get ready. Right. When I was a kid, like I could only play during the weekends. So I think my limit was like one to two hours. And then, um, <laughs> so I'll play like one hour or two hours. And I'll tell my mom I'll, I'll play. And, st- but, and then and then I try to lie. I'll be like, oh, I only play one hour, 30 minutes. And she'll be like, oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> they always have a timer. Yeah, they know. They always they know. have a timer. They were timing yeah. you. <laughs> like, no, you didn't. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad now. And then I turn off. <laughs> and then, <laughs> um, and then, and then, and then, and then like, when, you turn, when you turn off my, my PS2, I'd be like, oh, I can't wait for, I can't wait for tomorrow. Cause if it's a Saturday, then Sunday I could play on Sunday. I'm like, oh, and I just like wait and wait for the whole night and like just thinking about playing, playing um the next day. But there are these certain days where my mom would leave the house. Whoa! <laughs> she, where she would did she go? Leave the house. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Like she go like you know to the supermarket to get some groceries or go like you know go to her, meet her friends or her or a family or aunt. And then those. Or when my ears perked up, I was like, "Oh!" <laughs> I would like look down my look on my living room and see the see my console, and they had like a like like light beaming from my console. <laughs> yeah. So and then I I would I would actually like play and then 
the good thing about my house is that there was a gate. <clears throat> and since my mom drove, she had a car. When she wants to open the gate, she has to honk the horn. And I know what exactly how my my honk, my it the horn sounds like. So when I hear that horn a beep beep, I just like turn off turn off my my my, my PlayStation. I just like run I just like run upstairs to my room. <laughs> and pretend you're studying again. Yeah, pretend and like, you're like mom, I studied until now. Can I so can your I go mom play? never checked the temperature of your console? I don't think she did. <laughs> wow, okay. That's that's very lenient compared but to But also it. because like well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the consoles got very hot because they're only for gaming. Uh, they don't really heat up and that much. Well, I think you guys had... I think Jun, I can understand, but you ha- you get, got to play at least a few hours. Me on the other hand, like, on the weekends or Friday, I had to exercise. I did, like, uh, just, like, do laps around the swing pool, <laughs> run around the swing pool for how many laps? Just to play 15 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes was when my mom was very generous. <laughs> So, so, was it like a half a minute per lap or something? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Then you should have ran like thirty laps. <laughs> I would have run like fifty laps <laughs> <laughs> just to play more yeah, games. Yeah, it it's like, it's like, like a set number of laps. It, she would never increase okay. it. And there's okay, there's a timer. What, what can you do starts. in thirty minutes? You can basically load up a game. <laughs> yeah. Just booting up something takes ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in those days. Yeah. Okay. Now, I mean, at least she was generous enough to like until I start the game. Okay. Then. Age of Empires. Like maybe get a few buildings running, <laughs> and then like just you always place to the same place. <laughs> and then I'm get buildings just about running. To, like yeah, it wasn't the greatest. And of course, like you guys, when they're away, that's when I like. Yes, my time is gone. <laughs> sweet, sweet time. Yes. Sweet, sweet time. Because <laughs> my, my door had like some sort of like bell on it. So when she's like opening the door, I could hear the bell chime. And I'm like, okay, let me turn it off. Just like run to my room. But uh, there were like days, like, I still remember she checked the temperature. It was like, oh man. Were you playing games? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> say no. <laughs> but if you had a computer, you can say like, oh, you're doing homework or you're doing Oh no, B- those are back in middle school days. <laughs> you know, we don't have a lot of like homework on computer so yeah. uh, that at was least at least you had a console right yeah um i i never really had a console my mom and my dad weren't really fans of the gaming console mm-hmm. was because they thought i already have a computer it would rot your brain right i already have a computer and then even if they don't want me to play games i already played games on my computer so they're like why do we have to bother to buy you another gaming mm-hmm. console but i do remember for one birthday they did buy me a uh, game boy advance but the only game they bought me was Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic, though. Tetris? It is a classic. It is a classic. Like, a lot of people say t- Tetris is one of the only perfect games in existence. It is. It is. But the p- perfectness becomes chipped away <laughs> when you play four hours every day. <laughs> right? And you become a master. So, and then the next game they bought me after that was Space Invaders. Do you know Space Invaders? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, destroying man, the Isn't like slowly 1960s, 1970s? <laughs> yes. I don't, man, I don't, so I don't my, know. My gaming uh, pal didn't develop any... Like until like high school, so that's my life. But why did do you know why your parents even bought you a Game Boy Advance? Um, it was because we were in Hong Kong and I was just like begging them because my all my friends had like Game Boy Advances and then they were like trying to get a DS, a PS, <laughs> PSP, a PSP. Like my good friend always were like June. He would just call me over. Do you want to play my PSP? And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I do. And he was like. Do this for me. <laughs> or do my vocabulary homework. Yeah. And I would do it. You yeah, do it. I would do it because I didn't have a choice. I wanted to play the PSP <laughs> because on his PSP, there was a, uh, the game called Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, man, that was mind-blowing. Yeah. Like, how you could just walk. And we would play multiplayer. I'm, yeah, I mean, GTA on the handheld yeah. was like... It was it was just mind-boggling. Yeah. And then what the best part was, you can play... With, because other friends had also PSP yeah. except me. Uh-huh. So I could join in on them when I borrowed his uh, PSP. And then we can play multiplayer Grand Theft Auto, which was so fun. But I that only happened after I did his vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> so you're redoing really doing real life quests? Yes, yes. I was doing real life quests. World of Warcraft. Yes. Wow. <laughs> uh, that grind, grind is real. I mean, the the very hardcore upbringing of our parents. Yeah. But, but we pushed through that and we still game to this very day. And, and here we are. Yeah. It's called perseverance, guys. You can do anything if you believe. Yeah. Yes. Especially if you're Asians, you can do anything. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, not just uh, whoa. any. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, any race, <laughs> anyone can do it. But if you're Asians, it depends on your parents. You know, sometimes, True. sometimes. True. <laughs> I mean, now our parents are very lenient because yeah. even if, even when we told them we were doing a podcast about gaming, man, ten years ago they wouldn't say they wouldn't say yes. But, but now we're adults. Now, yeah, basically. now we're adults. We're doing our own thing. Mm-hmm. So. 
I, I believe we've come a long way. Yeah, I mean, it does say a lot about how much we enjoy gaming that even though our parents try to discourage us from playing games, you know, we, I mean, but then there's a re- there could be like, because they discourage us, we, we wanted to play more games. Right, it's like, <laughs> it's like the forbidden fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... This episode is more like a just like a free flowing, f- chill like episode, just like chill. talking about stuff, yeah. you know, intri- well, a little about us, mm, just introducing ourselves as gamers. But now that we've we've talked a bit about who we are as gamers, what ki- what type of games we play, how about we talk about like um, the podcast itself? Because this is sort of the, sort of the introduction of our podcast. Like how how does our how how does our podcast work? Well, what what do we talk about? Well, we are going to be talking about gaming news. So maybe like the newest scoops. Like, you know, you guys are about the Epic Games scandal or let's say the... Exclusives, like yeah. Nintendo exclusives. Yeah, the D- DDoS attacks, uh, D- D- DDoS attacks on like the World of Warcraft servers. Right. Or all these shenanigans going on with the game world, like just the latest scoops. That's what we'll be giving you, basically. Right. And we'll also be talking about the different games that we play and the different impressions that we take from it. Mm-hmm. Um, um, we're also going to be doing, for example, if we think there's a good game out there that we think you should know about and we think it's a good price and it's uh, it's going on sale. I mean, Dennis is really good at those things. So he usually tells us. And then what we can do is we can provide those information to you guys so you don't miss out on those very good games. And um, And... By the way, this is going to be a sort of weekly show. It's a weekly podcast. So every week we'll talk about the top news, game impressions. But we also talk about, you know, sometimes during those weeks where it's like a slow news week, not much to talk about. Then we can introduce sort of like different segments, you know, topics to talk about. Like maybe um, certain hot take topics like what do you think of sort of this mechanic or this trend in gaming? We could talk, talk about different trends, how it affects gaming. We can talk about what the game industry should do to change, you know, just sprinkle a little sort of discussion topics here and there. Right, we can do some debates. Mm-hmm, debates, exactly. And of, of course, when uh, those big, you know, those temple events like E3 or Gamescom, then we will, of course, we'll have, a, we, we'll have our reactions to those events. And also, perhaps, additional episodes on those weeks because I maybe... Mean, not guaranteed, but we'll see what we can do. We'll, see <laughs> we'll what try we our best, guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can turn up. Yeah. But, and also, since we are all Asians, we can sort of offer, it may, maybe, it may not be a completely different perspective, but maybe a slightly different perspective. Yeah, more like a unique insight, guys. That's what we're gonna because, do. Because, like, we're going to talk about from the perspective of, you know, in Asia, we sort of view games slightly differently from our western counterparts and we can when we can talk about from that point of view because asia is like one of the biggest gaming markets in the world right yeah and we've also got the korean background Mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest uh, gaming industries in the whole world i mean when you go to korea you can barely walk three blocks and not see a pc room which is which Mm -hmm. shows how big gaming is within our Mm -hmm. uh, country yeah, it's a ba- basic part of our culture. Right. Yes. It, it is part of our culture. So, there will be some weeks where maybe we'll talk about gaming news on, like, Korean gaming industry. Right. Or maybe even the, the Chinese gaming industry. Right. No, maybe the Japanese Or, because yeah. you're from, you lived in the Philippines for a long time. You can talk about Philippines. Yeah. I mean, it's, the possibilities are, are endless. endless. Right. <laughs> it's endless. <laughs> okay, so, I mean... That'll be that's our podcast. Maybe it might change here and there, depending on what we, depending on how we see fit. But hopefully, y- you guys can stick around and listen to us every week. Maybe and um, hopefully like what we have to say. So now, since we talk about who we are, the, our podcast, maybe you can talk about like what can you see or the future, maybe or what you have hopes and dreams or whatever you whatever you want to say so i'll go first crowd control gaming i just want our i don't know i I just want it to grow i just want more people to listen to our podcast and maybe we can just just make it more 
available to everyone. That's what I want, basically. I just want more of you guys to still appreciate for us for what we like gaming. And if you think so, then th- uh, that'll be nice. How about you, Jun? Um, it's weird sitting here. It's because I've always been on the other side listening. And to, to think that I'm actually a content creator with you guys. It's been a long time coming. And to think that I'm here is very overwhelming. And I just want to be able to share my interest in gaming um, with other people who have similar and also different interest in gaming, but also in backgrounds. So we also come from uh, different Asian cultures. Mm-hmm. So I want to include those cultures, but also I don't want to exclude any Western cultures as well because we did, we, we did all learn in a Western educational background. So I do hope that we are able to bring in multicultural people with different aspects and different perspective on games. Yeah, I think the thing I'm most looking forward to with this podcast is, of course, we, I got to talk about news because I am I love listening to different gaming podcasts, whether it be like podcasts about sports, game, whatever. So I've always wanted to talk about games or because gaming is such a huge passion of mine. But I also want to want I'm also looking forward to sort of making a sort of close-knit community where we can share ideas back and forth, you know, like be it on social media or through this very podcast. Um, Different people can show us, give us their opinions on certain certain things, and maybe it might change our opinions. It's like, oh, I didn't think of it that way. And then we're not different from any of them. mm -hmm. And then we, and then maybe we can convince other people too, and also like. Um. So by creating this community of gamers or like-minded gamers, then we can sort of have fun and maybe fool around a bit as well. <laughs> Definitely, just have fun, basically. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is all about having fun. Exactly. So, I mean, if we're not having fun with this, we'll probably stop doing this podcast. But first day seems pretty fun, right? Yeah, I, I actually really liked it. I yeah, enjoyed just, it. We're just doing what we're doing. I mean, we, we basically do this all the time. In a cafe or somewhere. Exactly. So we're just basically it's it's it, we're in a different setting, but mm-hmm. we're doing the same thing. <laughs> so now, that, I mean, that's true. We all we've always talked about games every single time, and the fact that the only difference is we're actually talking for the mics that we're not really used to yet. So yeah. hope, hopefully right. this recording comes out all right. <laughs> my my neck's a little stiff <laughs> because I keep having to look at like this. Yeah. We'll, we'll get our posture right one day. Yeah. 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 Maybe we'll look a little more professional yeah. in about two to three weeks. I mean, woo. This is our first attempt. Yeah. You know, it's th- there'll be some some mistakes here and there, but for our first, I mean, first recording session, I think I think it went pretty well. Yeah. Don't yeah. you guys think so? I I think so. <laughs> I definitely think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that's the end of our sort of opening sort of segment or episode to this hopefully long and illustrious and fruitful pod- and fruitful. <laughs> journey of podcasting so what episode would you call this episode zero one or yeah i think i lead towards episode zero yeah all right yeah. Episode we, did, zero, we technically guys. didn't start yeah we we're just introducing yeah just because yeah. inter- like so next episode is when we'll talk about games and talk about you know any hot news that that pops up but for now just like get to know us and maybe we'll get to know you hopefully <laughs> please you, come. the please, listener. Please, 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 please listen. Come. <laughs> please comment, please. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of uh, the first recording session or the first sort of pilot episode is what I want to call it. Of this, this was this. <laughs> you you got to end with the outro, man. I mean, you, you guys want to say anything else or? I mean, I think he summed it up pretty nicely, <laughs> right? All right. That's okay. That's the, the end of our. Podcast. So this has been the crowd control podcast and hopefully we'll see you when's the next episode next week maybe? next week next week next week okay <laughs>